Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today we are once again playing Pokemon Pathways, the game where your choices change the story. You guys wanted me to complete it, so that's exactly what we're doing. Starting things off, you have to take the online Pokemon Academy application, and then you can choose your character, put in your name, and then you have to answer some questions, and already this determines the kind of starter Pokemon that you get, and what kind of character you are as well. So after that, you then wake up in your room, you then have to go straight back to bed, and you have this nightmare where your mum is just kind of dying and then there's some there seems to be some sort of like evil spirit of you that's like trapped her and then you have to answer a question and then that already determines like whether you get light aura or evil aura or anything like that but anyway not a great dream you then wake up you don't even kind of acknowledge the dream you go over to the pc and then you basically look at your results fortunately we do pass by the skin of our teeth it wasn't a great exam for us but we got through we get the academy pass we get our running shoes from our mother and then you can start exploring the island there's actually quite a few quests already before you go to the actual pokemon academy and that's exactly what we do here so there's this creep here that's kind of staring at this woman you basically tell him to have a day off and go away and then she's like oh great job thank you so much here's a token of my appreciation gives you a red candy very nice and then there's also this quest as well with this police officer that was slacking off he gives you two grand for getting him back and then we go to the boat because there's not really many other quests to do and then you can basically just save your game we then go up to the academy and uh, we then have to go to the front desk because that's obviously we need to sign in and then we go to this big kind of like academy room and we've got some of the stronger trainers just having a bit of a argument and then this is like the main guy the head teacher and then he's basically just telling you about the academy walking you through all the different things and all the different kind of Things that are going to be just in the academy and, and all that. And then obviously some people fall asleep because he just doesn't stop talking. And then we wake up and then boom, straight back to the front desk. We get our dorm key, 101. Very, very nice room. As well as that, she says that every student has to have a Poke Gear, so we also grab that. And then we actually have to choose a mentor. We go with Eliza or Eliza, um, just because I felt like she was going to be an alright trainer. I don't know. But then we come out of the academy, and then these two are fighting. We also have our mentor and then her little sister here. And then after that, we basically get the, the big old show and tour of the whole island and they just kind of walk you through every single thing that you can do on this island and there is so much stuff there is literally a building for everything we then go into the big kind of user university campus and and all the rooms and stuff like that and we find our dorm room it's the first one so it's luckily very easy to find then it tells you about your dorm room and it basically gives you a massive explanation and then we go to sleep and then we wake up and then mentor guides us to our first day and this is kind of where you can catch pokemon this is where all the students go the classrooms are and as you can see we go into our first day in the class and this guy is basically just telling it that everybody like look at this new student yada 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 gives us a few pokeballs and our starter pokemon is on the table and i get myself a riolu which i was very happy about because last time i played it i don't think i got a very good pokemon i was much happier with riolu this time i think i had like an evil playthrough the last time i played and i got like a i might have got like a zoro or something which is still decent but either way i was very happy with the riolu we get the backtrack rope here which is very very useful because if you go to the kind of one of the areas you can easily get back and these are the areas so it takes energy everything in this game takes energy whether you go to an area you do a battle everything like that everything takes energy um so obviously when you've used up all your energy you have to go to bed you have to go to sleep and then you start a new day anyway we come across an oddish that's level nine so i feel like i may as well catch this because it's going to be a decent grass type i then also come across a munchlax with the leftovers as well and you already know i had to grab this dude not just because of the leftover but snorlax is just a very good pokemon to have really really early on and i'm just hoping hoping that i can evolve the bunch laxes as early as i can as well learn counter and then we basically finish our first day in the fields and, and the areas and stuff we come out the teacher's just kind of telling us about the rest of the things class dismissed and then you can actually see your skills here as well you can always see your, your skills obviously you've got energy strength intelligence uh, all of these different things that you have to get up we get a hp up from this guy it's really really useful to go and talk to people because they give you a ton of free items you can also buy experience candy as well and so i decided to just buy a massive 100 of them uh, just simply because i want to level up all my pokemon and then go and start doing some reading as well as you can see it takes up more energy but i get some interactions my intelligence increases and again this is just a good way of getting intelligence the library is the best place like you just keep clicking a and then boom 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 intelligence left right and center we finish that day though i go back to sleep it's tuesday now it also tells you like when you've got homework and everything like that and all that's assigned uh the, the homework is really useful it's just like on the edge you don't really have to do anything crazy for it i then decide to level up all my pokemon i get riolu to 16 i get oddish to 14 and i get munchlax to 13 so some pretty nice levels we then come to the dojo akiza is here or akiza however you pronounce her name and this is where you can get strength 
uh, which is really, really useful because some of the areas you need like strength to push boulders and stuff. You don't actually use your Pokemon, you use your actual strength. And then use more XP candy to get some more levels. And Riolu starts evolving into Lucario. So I was very, very happy to get a Lucario at level 18 because this thing is, as we all know, a very good Pokemon. Very, very happy to have this on my team. Much better than a Zarawa, in my personal opinion. So Riolu evolves, and as well as that, Munchlax starts evolving as well into a Snorlax. So the team has just become a powerhouse thanks to a couple of experience candy. Very, very happy about all that though. So we now have a Lucario, a Snorlax, and an Oddish. We then go to this place here where you actually earn skill. And basically you just have to take on these trainers who have three Pokemon. They're all the same type, but they have like interesting moves and stuff. But this is a place you definitely want to come to get skill. Because skill, strength, and intelligence are like the main things you need in this game. And so you're going to spend a lot of time here if you do decide to play this game. Uh, anyway, we take on those battles. We go back to the the classroom we finish our class day i don't know you have to do this every day if you are late for class or you do not turn up you get detention and then that basically just gets you in the bad books which again just increases your evilness i guess or whatever but i'm a good boy you know i'm a straight a student i'm i'm turning up for class we then go to sabrina's kind of area and she's basically the iv teacher and she can teach you ivs ev stuff like that you can either pay or you can get lucky every single day and we actually get lucky i pick heads we get heads and then we actually get um, some speed IVs on Lucario. So that was really nice. Straight back to school though. We finished that day. I think I went like Thursday or Friday or Saturday. I don't even know. But as you can see, the skills just keep going up. Today's interactions go up. I don't really know what interactions do, but they just seem to keep going up. I, I don't know. I guess it just makes you more popular or something. Anyway, after that, I go back to this kind of uh, location and I fight this guy. Just trying to get friendship up with all the different characters because that's another thing that you can do in this game if you keep battling and talking to the same people you get friendships and then you can add them to your pokey gear and stuff like that and then it's straight back to school and as well as that you can also basically get access to more areas if you spend your skill points on the teacher they unlock new areas which have new Pokemon and stuff like that. So we just keep getting these new areas. And as you can see, this is a brand new area that we've just discovered. It was different from the last one. And so, yeah, there's new Pokemon here. There's new quests. There's new items you can pick up. Really, really useful to do that. And again, this is why you need as many skill points as you can get from the kind of like trio battle uh, place because you're going to be using so much skill. We then go to the dojo and this is where you get your strength up as well. You basically have to do one of these people attack. I don't know. This kind of pops up in a lot of ROM hacks and a lot of fan games. But basically, you just have to fight this karate dude. And then once you beat him, you basically get like strength for that, which is really, really useful. We then, on the weekend, can come to the student lounge. The student lounge is a really, really cool location in this game. Because basically, there's a lot of people here. There's a lot of items you can buy. There's a lot of mini games you can play. And this is the card game that I seem to have been playing in every single Pokemon fan game lately. I absolutely love it. I'm addicted to this game now. I actually really, really like it. Basically, to win, you have to basically put a number that's stronger than the one that's like above below or on the left or right so as you can see that Aplin is there so i put the eevee there just so i'm a little bit stronger on the bottom and then i put charmander to take the bound suite and then obviously they play their bound suite and then i take the uh the Aplin, and then we win basically you have to have more cards um than your opponent then you get also get a card you also get skill as well so it's really really useful i really like it just because it's a fun game but it's just another way to get skill the, the trio battle thing is still the best way to get skill in this game. But again, there's other things that will get you skill. Anyway, we take on the fighting dojo again. He's pummeling me this time. We somehow beat him though and get some more strength. And then we start doing some more challenges and quests and stuff like that. We get a dust stone from this guy, which was very, very nice. And then uh, as well as that, we get our light aura increased. Again, the, the kind of quest you take on also increase your light aura or your dark aura or whatever. And then it's another day in class, still being a good student. I do turn a little bit more evil later on, don't worry about that, because if you're just doing class all the time, it gets a little bit repetitive, and so sometimes you, you want to bunk off, sometimes you want to get a bit of detention. Anyway, I go to unlock another area, and as you can see, the amount of skill that it takes does increase kind of every single time you do it, So, which is why you're going to spend more time getting more skills so you can get more Pokemon. Straight back to the library, though, doing some intelligence grinding, and getting that, uh, getting that smartness up. I'm absolutely fine with that. And you need intelligence as well to pass the class too. It's not just skill and stuff that you need. Then Oddish starts evolving into Gloom. I had no idea where a Leaf Stone was in this game. Though. I was looking high and low for it. I could not evolve my Gloom into Vile Plume, no matter how look how much I looked for it. But either way, Gloom was very nice anyway. It got like Giga Drain and stuff like that. Straight back to the Karate Guy. You already know that we're fighting it again. Like, I must be this guy's favorite opponent because I'm turning up every single day getting these strength battles going up. Uh, anyway, we take him on. Then after that, it's straight back to the kind of trio location and we get some charm because we've basically over 10 now with this guy and then we come back to an area and the levels have increased as well because my levels have increased this guy's got like ludicolo stuff like that pretty high leveled 
good good XP though, really. Like it's just nice to have these these random trainers to battle. And again, you just increase the kind of affection with all these different characters. The more you talk to them, the more you battle them and stuff like that. We then come across this guy who has a Smurgle. Obviously, I one-shot it because Smurgle's not great. And then after you beat him, he, he basically just gives it you. He's like, bro, this Pokemon sucks. I'm tired of it. You can have it. And we just get a free Smurgle. I'm like, all right, cheers. I mean, not really a Pokemon I'm going to use, but it's, it's a Pokemon that I want in my team. I only had like three Pokemon at this point, so I'll gladly take it. Next up, we find this tree here, and we cut it down. There's just a random Leap chilling here. And I was like, bro, I don't know where this Pokemon's come from. I don't know where else you can find them. I'm definitely catching this. And that's exactly what I do. I do catch the little leap. I thought it was going to be a nice little addition to the team. I already have a grass type, but I mean, because I've not come across any other leaps in the game, I thought it'd be relatively rare. And Cradilia is a really good Pokemon as well. We then also find a water stone. So still can't find the leaf stone, but we do indeed find a water stone. And again, this is why it's useful to just kind of literally look everywhere in these different areas because the amount of Pokemon you can find really really useful then come back to the trio building just to get some more skill level and th this is exactly what the battle is like you just battle them every single time he sends out either water types or fire types or anything like that they're not necessarily even difficult to beat and then it's straight back to the library you already know my head is in those books once again doing the doing the homework doing the intelligence grind and you've got to do it because that's how you pass the class um so that's another few uh, reading of books there and then after that we go back to uh school and he's basically saying that he's assigning us some uh, he's assigned us some homework and that we have to have completed it. Of course, I have completed it because, as I said, I'm a straight A student. And then we go uh, up to him again, and he's basically saying, uh, "What would you want?" And I want to pass the class. And there's two ways to pass a class here: you can do the final exam or you can do the battle. Now, the final exam, I think you are more likely to pass if you've got higher intelligence. And then obviously, the battle is you just have to beat him. And he's got quite a tough team as well. He has a Delilah Whoop coming out with Cricketune, level 25. He does bide, uh, which isn't great for me because obviously that's just going to one-shot me because I've just done a ton of damage to him. So I don't really know what to do in this situation. I'm like, bro, this thing's about to do a lot of damage. But then I realized I actually just got a plus one from Power Up Punch. Uh, I mean, the Metal Claw. So I'm chilling. I can just want, I can just kill it now. So I get a ton of XP from the Cricketune. We're all right with that. Trying to learn Metal Sound. Not too bothered about that. Then he sends in an Ambipom, which I'm absolutely fine with because I'm a fighting type. It's level 25. So I Power Up Punch the Ambipom, get another Attack Rise. He tail whips me. No problem there. I get another Attack Boost with another another power up punch and again this 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 trainer like he is relatively difficult but i mean lucario is just a really good pokemon but i guess if you had like a different team he would be pretty difficult and again you can just take the final exam anyway you don't have to battle him and i actually take a final exam later on in the video just to show like the differences but anyway we do take out the carnivine we're level 29 and we do pass the class we are now upgraded to the c tier we are no longer a d tier student and i think the the highest rank you can get in this game is like s tier i'm not sure if the game goes up to that or not we didn't get that far and i'll tell you why later on in the video but either way we get past uh, the d tier we are now c tier student and then we can actually access new areas uh, there's stronger pokemon there's new trainers and as well as that we actually uh, finish the rom here um, it basically says it's as far as the alpha 4.0 goes we hope to see you in the next update but i was really enjoying this game and the new update was going to be out soon so i decided to wait for it i actually recorded the first part of this video ages ago and i've just recorded the second part of the video now because i was really enjoying it i just kind of wanted to put out a video with like a lot more of the game and when i reloaded the game and downloaded the latest update honestly there are so many new characters there are so many more things to do in this game i'm not even just trying to like promote it this game is probably one of my favorite pokemon games that i've played um that's like a rum pack fan game kind of thing and uh as you can see this is the new c tier location we've got this guy here with an electabuzz the class is different and when you like leave the class now you either leave the class or you leave the building uh, you can obviously go to the c tier uh ranked areas and there's obviously new pokemon here this place bro i don't even know what the level jump was but we got this guy over here riley i believe he's called but the pokemon you find in this location level 34 and when i reloaded the game i couldn't actually remember what levels i was and i was like oh damn I'm on level 29. I am super underleveled for these locations. This ain't too good. So anyway, we do catch the Geodude. I also find a Steelix as well. And I think this is just going to be a very, very useful Pokemon to have just simply because it can get Stealth Rock. It's bulky as hell. It takes hits. It's just a very nice Pokemon to have on your team. And even though I already have a Steel type in Lucario, I would really like a Steelix. We also have Overworld Pokemon now as well, which wasn't a thing in the last update. Uh, the Dragonite and Flygon aren't Overworld encounters. That's just the trainer's Pokemon. But you can see Spearow here, Pidgey 
stuff like that. You can also find the feathers as well, which basically increase your IVs and EVs or whatever. But uh, they do actually sell for quite a bit, so they're really, really useful. So there's overworld encounters and grass encounters, which is pretty cool. This sailor doesn't talk to me, I don't know, a little bit rude. And then after that, we just explore more of the C-tier kind of areas. And dude, these overworld encounters pop up willy-nilly. They are all over the place. Uh, we then find this character here, Eros or Eros, either way. He's in the library. I take him on thinking that he's going to be a relatively okay person to beat. He sends out Skarmory level 45. And I feel like if I played the, the new update from the start, I think that my levels would be a lot higher right now. But obviously I lose to him. My, As you can see, my affection is now minus three. So I'm straight back into the books. Lucario is giving him the evils. And then after that, we go back to the dorm room. And then we actually find the fast travel item. So I'm guessing this is something you can pick up at the very start of the game. But this basically allows you to fast travel anywhere around campus. And my, this is the best item in the game. I absolutely love this. Anyway, we go to sleep. And then we have an evil team now as well. Which, again, I didn't see any of in the last update. But these guys are just basically saying that everyone here is weak and then the police officer or the security comes over and he's like bro what's going on then he sends out an electro and just explodes and just kills the security guy and screen shaking a lot and he's just dead just disappears just disintegrates just gets thanos i don't know what's going on there anyway we're back to us at present day or whatever and then i'm going playing some more card games you know it's the weekend i can slack off a bit i want to play some more pokemon cards or whatever you call them he sends out the mooner here or the mooner whatever you want to call it and uh I'm, I'm i'm fine with that i can just use pikachu here take out that because obviously two is higher than one he sends out the scorbunny though i've got squirtle so i'm obviously going to play that one because i think there's like a super effective kind of part of this game as well if you send out a pokemon that's like super effective then it does even more anyway we take out the uh the Pokemon with the Bulbasaur, and then I play I play uh, Charmander, and we do win the game. I also get the Muna card as well. I then find this guy as well, who obviously my affection is already really high with. The thing about this update is a lot of characters have changed places, so I spent a lot of time just trying to find everyone again that I like spot like that I spoke to every single day. We then go and fight the Dojo again. He's still not moved. He's still here, and uh, we're getting some more strength from him. We then find this location here with the Marowak and the Mandibuzz, and basically you have to choose a side. I decide to go with the Marowak just because I like it more than Mandibuzz, and I have to fight these mandibles and they are level 40 bro these levels shot up anyway we do end up catching the mandibles because i mean it's a free level 40 pokemon and i need my levels higher and we then uh speak to the marowak after taking all the mandibles and he just gives us an egg he's like bro you just have one of my children I'm like, all right anyway next up it's time to do some homework not a fan of it but it's got to be done and uh, as you can see this is how fast travel works so you literally just click the button and you can go anywhere before, I would spend so much time trying to, like, just go back to locations, but this new fast travel thing makes the game so much better. So, straight back to the library. Time to get some more intelligence up, because, like I say, you need it to pass the class, and so you want to do a little bit of that every day. It's then time to do some more quests. This guy is getting attacked by a Fero. Do not know how you get yourself in this situation. These are luckily only level 30, so no problems there at all. I can just destroy them all with Lucario. Because I am obviously a fighting type. Pharaoh is normal flying. Hits him for neutral. So I don't have to worry about that. And flying types are neutral on me. So anyway, we take out all the Pharaoh. Help this guy out. He's like, thanks. You saved me. Cheers, pal. And as you can see, there's a bunch of birds at the top. Look how many overworld encounters there are. Anyway, we go back to this girl. And tell her that we've completed the quest. My light aura goes up. And then it's back to the shop. Because I need to buy some more candy for my team. Because as you can see, my levels are a little bit lower than I was expecting them to be. I can still only buy Pokeballs and potions. Though, so it's a little bit unfortunate. Because the Pokemon that I'm catching are like literally 40s and 30s. 30s and pokeballs just don't really cut it anyway it's time to take on the c tier class for the first day the transferred student walks in which is obviously me and then we have to basically say if we're humble arrogant nonchalant funny or whatever i go with humble just because i feel like people will like me a little bit more and then it's time to take a seat and this class is a little bit different because you actually have to fight each other in this class and i'm a little bit worried because we just took out this guy before and you had like that like 45 skarmory as you can see the affection is still minus three and you can only choose one pokemon as well knowing that he's gonna pick skarmory i decide to pick um, my steelix just simply because it's gonna have the best I, I guess chance of survival against a level 45 Skarmory but for some reason the Skarmory has now gone down to level 32 which I'm absolutely fine with I don't know why out and about they've gone 13 levels higher and in class they're lower leveled I have no idea but anyway we do manage to take out the Skarmory uh, it doesn't really do anything to me I don't even know if you can potion and stuff in these battles I decided not to but anyway we take him out and then the winner is Matty and then that's it for today's class session which was pretty cool and then, as you can see, my intelligence is all the way up to like 100 now. And I want to get some more floor fields as well because I need some more Pokemon on the team. I feel like I'm a little bit lackluster on the typings. So we do get a new floor field and we get this electric location. This girl here basically...
basically says there's a lot of electric types and you're going to need this super repel. Boy, was she correct. She was telling me the truth. There are so many encounters in this place. It's ridiculous. Anyway, you have to come to this guy and basically show him a Magnemite or an electric type. So we do that and then we can power up the doors. And then we find a Porygon Z as well, which I thought, hey... May as well catch it. It's going to have Discharge. It's going to be very useful. It's level 40. And in my head, I'm like, am I really going to catch a Porygon Z with a Pokeball? The answer to that is yes. Somehow. Only took me like four Pokeballs. I don't know if the catch rate is just higher in this game. But I was very happy to catch a Porygon Z level 40 straight on the team. It has Discharge. Very, very nice. We then come back here to get some more skill because I need skills for the areas and to pass the class and everything like that. And you just need to keep grinding it out. This guy's got an Iglybub this time. No problem whatsoever. And then straight back to the classroom. Take a seat. And we also have to battle, uh, I think it's the Croconaw today. There's also a guy with a Type Null as well. I mean, nobody even mentions that. He's just chilling with a Legendary. It's cool that you can see the Pokemon they're going to use though. So you know who to bring. But anyway, Cassandra, as you can see, has a Croconaw. So I can just use Porygon Z here. No problem at all for me. I can just one-shot it with Discharge. Not, uh, not, not bothered about that at all. Uh, she is level 37, though, which is a bit bit stronger than the Skarmory, but, you know, it's no problem for Porygon Z, just one shot it. Anyway, we take out Cassandra and then come back to the dojo, and then we also have this person here, which is brand new, so I talked to her a little bit. Decide to fight a little bit more just to get that strength up. This guy, honestly, I'm keeping him in business the amount of times I'm fighting him every single day. It's a bit ridiculous. Uh, but anyway, yeah, just keep doing it. Keep getting those, uh, the, keep getting that strength up with my special attack. And then it's straight back to the uh, the classroom. And the, today we're actually finished uh, visiting the cafeteria. So again, it's not just battling every single day. This cafeteria is pretty cool because they basically have a special every single uh, every single time you come here. And it, it kind of increases stats and decreases stats. So it'll like increase intelligence, but it'll decrease strength. It'll increase your skill, but it'll decrease something else. Like it's, it's kind of cool. I'm not friendly enough with everyone to sit with anyone so that's just kind of my day at the cafeteria a bit sad to be fair i then see aliza here just just saying like hello how you doing i was my number one student doing some more books in the library and then straight back to the class and now this time i have to take her on she does have an ampharos uh, which i don't really have anything for i have lucario with bone rush but even then it's a little bit of a close call um because as well as that the 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 ampharos is level 36 i do decide to bone rush it Getting a few attacks off, doing some nice damage. It does have Charge Beam, which isn't great because it is getting a special attack boost. We do take out the uh, Ampharoso, which is very, very nice. And uh, we are very close to level 40 now. Like, Lucario is shot up levels. I then come to this guy, and basically, because I've been here enough, he gives me a perk. And now perks are really, really good in this game. They're basically just something that applies the whole time. So the too easy perk basically reduces the cost of all skill actions by half. So that's very, very useful. And then the berry handy is the perk that grants you a citrus berry every day. And then gem hunter perks uh, is basically get a battle gym boost power every single day. So I go with the too easy perk because obviously for the areas, those are halved. And then also for the final kind of exams those are halved as well so yeah i get the too easy perk and again perks in this game really really useful and it's not just this guy basically every place like the dojo they will also give you perks every single like main location will give you a perk anyway it's time to pass the class and i do the uh, the final exam this time he says i've got a hundred percent chance of passing and i think that's just because my intelligence is so high and so i complete the final exam and then i have now gone to the b rank i also get the z ring as well so i think you can like mega evolve in this game as well like later on down the line but yeah i do get the z ring i also found a z crystal earlier on in the electric place i found like the electrium z thing um and then anyway after that we we exit the c tier uh, kind of classroom and i can now take the uh, elevator down to the b tier uh, the b tier class which is exactly what we do and again you can go down to a to s third floor is b though so i think fourth floor is a and i think that might be where the game ends but anyway we come out here the security guy is like oh you're the new b tier guy pretty cool very very happy to have you here and then we can find like new locations and stuff we then go into here and it's blaine with a sneezler and i can obviously upgrade pass class he basically says to pass the class though i need 50 intelligence and 50 skill that would have been a hundred skill i do believe but obviously i've got the perk on which halves it so i need 50 intelligence and 50 skill and i'm very very close to that i check my stats and i'm actually like really really close to that i think i only need like a little bit more skill anyway i enter this location and see what kind of pokemon are about and there was actually fighting type pokemon in this place which i don't necessarily need because i have lucario already so i don't really need like the hitmonlee and the machamps and whatnot all these different pokemon um after that we then uh, go back to the trio place and get the skill that we need. And I've got five skill there. I now have 50 intelligence and 50 skill. I've got enough to pass the class. I don't know what levels the B tier is going to be, but I'm confident that my team's going to be able to beat him. So I decide to buy some super potions and stuff just in case I need them. And a little bit of XP candy as well, just to grind up my Pokemon a little bit more. Because I now get medium candy. Every time you basically pass a class, you, you 
basically get better items in the uh, market. They're basically like the gyms of the game. And so I kind of use the experience candy and all that on my Pokemon and just basically use everything that I possibly can. The items and everything like that that just makes them stronger. So Lucario is level 45, wants to learn heal pools, not bothered about that. I then give some to Porygon Z, which actually shoots up to level 43, which is very nice. And then I give the rest to Steelix, which shoots up to 42. I want to pass the class, so I go back to the B tier guy. I haven't even taken his class yet, but I can pass it already. And then we do the battle. Sneezler is level 55. This thing destroys me. It has Drain Punch. It's not even close. I, for whatever reason, I thought it was Dark Fighting. It's Poison Fighting, so fighting is not doing much. You basically need a psychic type Pokemon against this, which I do not have. So it destroys my uh, my whole team. I've got no chance of beating any of these uh, any of his Pokemon, really. I can't even get past the Sneezler. You might be able to pass the class with the final exam, and that's probably what I should have done. But unfortunately... The next, this is basically where I closed the game down for the day, and then I went to play it again. And then, unfortunately, as you can see, when I play the game now, I try loading it, and it just says that the save file is corrupt. And it's really, really unfortunate because I was absolutely loving this game, but that's where it ends. So, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, leave a comment. Until next time, peace.